In this demonstration, I'll show you how to de-skew, crop and de-speckle a scanned image in AutoCAD. Here I have a drawing that's been loaded in. It's a scanned image, so I can't do anything in AutoCAD. It's not quite square within the drawing frame. It has some information around the outside of the drawing. Could be plan file strips, could be the image is torn or the paper was torn. And I've also got some speckles in the lower left hand corner. The first thing I'm going to do on this drawing is do a de-skew. So just to make sure the image is square. So I use this command called de-skew raster. It's now asking me to select all the raster data I want to de-skew. If I click on this one here that says all, everything will go green. That means all of the information in the drawing has been selected. I don't want to pick any more, so I hit return. And it now says, give me a reference line. So I can either pick the center line through the drawing, or in this case, I can pick the drawing border. So I click one end, and then I select all the way along the line, as far as it will go, to give it an angle. It will then de-skew the angle and then it will present the image as square. Now I have the image square, I can do a crop. This will erase everything outside the image. It doesn't resize it, but it will actually just take the data outside. So I say crop and then I start by drawing a box around the drawing. So everything within that box will be kept everything outside will be erased and now I can say I want to despeckle the image so I use this command here despeckle raster when I click on the command it prompts me for a speckle size that could be anything so I say P for pick and I'll select this speckle here which is quite large it now says, do you want to delete or fill? If I say delete, which is D, then it will delete everything that I select. If I say F for fill, then if I have a solid with holes, then I can fill up the holes. So I say D for delete, and I'll just draw a window around the area I want to despeckle. It's highlighted all of the speckles, that size or below that I chose. I can pan around the drawing and select some more if the, their speckles were across the whole image. If I'm happy with that, I just hit return and it will despeckle the drawing. It's left some larger speckles behind because this could be decimal points, it could be uh, geometry or something on the drawing, but it was also bigger than the speckle size that I chose. If I use the despeckle command again, it will give me the speckle size of 1.143 mil, so I can either add to that or make it larger or smaller depending on my preference. All of these commands are here in this little section here on the cleanup on the main toolbar, or well, they're also on the ribbon here in the enhance. So you've got de skew, you've got clean, you've got de speckle, crop, 